Joining us now is Representative Guerra. Sir, tell us a little bit about uh, the Rio Grande Valley and uh, where do you see legislation going this year? Well, you know, last Wednesday, we spent quite a few hours on the House floor um, working on and getting past uh, HB3, which was uh, very, very important, I believe, to Texas and teachers and um, students and uh, education uh, all across Texas. And uh, very, very proud of that. And um, we were able to pass that almost unanimously out of the House of Representatives. Um, and what you have to understand is that that's almost unheard of to get that done uh, with almost a unanimous vote. Mm -hmm. So I'm very proud of our leadership and I'm very proud of, of, of the Valley delegation because we all saw and understand the importance and need of, of public education in Texas to make sure that we properly fund our retired teachers, our teachers, and, and especially our students in the schools. Uh, that was so, so important. We're seeing a lot of talk of education, not just in the uh, in the House, but in the Senate as well. Recently, they did something for uh, teachers and their raises as well. Uh, can you tell us uh, how that may actually end up going to the House? Well, I think it's important to understand that it takes two houses to pass a law eventually. And uh, we have passed our version of what we think in the House of Representatives. Remember, there's 150 of us mm -hmm. in the House of Representatives. There's 31 senators. Um, the Senate has taken a, uh, is, is taking a, a little bit different route uh, from what I'm seeing, but we haven't seen the final uh, we haven't seen the final version of that yet. But what I can tell you is that the Senate uh, and, and the House of Representatives, um, when that I anticipate that's probably going to go to conference, and we'll see what 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 what, um, what comes out of that. But I will tell you that um, I think both chambers understand how important public education is to Texas. How involved are you in this particular SB3 or HB3, I apologize? Well, obviously, um, there were n numerous amendments that we had to vote on all night. So all of us, everybody on the floor was involved with that. We have to study that bill and make sure. But um, I was just another vote amongst 150 of us that, that, that well, there were 140, I believe it was 148. Um, I think there was one member that didn't vote for it. but. It was almost unanimous in the House of Representatives. So I was very much involved. The members of the committee had a lot of questions for them during the process. Uh, they made themselves very uh, accessible and um, answered all of my questions. To, uh, and, but in addition, I made sure and checked with my school districts. It's very, very important that we, we had feedback from our school districts, which, which I did. Um, and um, each one of the school districts has uh, a spokesperson or somebody that's watching these issues and, and the school districts um, have one spokesperson that, 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 for the most part, that we visited with. Um, and we went over the particular runs, as they call them, the runs, to see where each school was, mm -hmm. how, how each school was being funded, and how, the, how our school district fare under this house plan. And I'm happy to say that um, um, in, in the schools in my district uh, did, I think, did, are going to come out quite well. Um, but we'll see where, where we go in the future with this. Moving a little bit past uh, education, is there any other uh, bills that you're currently working on right now? Well, yes. Um, we, I, have, I have a lot of bills uh, that we're working on. Um, I have, a, again, we go back to the Small Business Task Force. Uh, um, um, I filed another bill to make sure that um, that continues in the future. I um, want to make sure that Small Business Task Force um, has the tools it needs to make sure that it can 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 uh, properly help out uh, small business in Texas. Um, I, I, I've also got a, a bill um, involving um, um, many of the issues involving the Rio Grande Valley transportation. I'm, I'm working with the members on transportation bills. Um, transportation is huge. It's a huge economic again. A, huge economic driver for the Rio Grande Valley. If you think about this, when I was growing up, we didn't have rush hour. We have rush hour now. And so we all recognize that. And so I'm very proud of the delegation. We all work very closely together and, and we help each other with, with our bills. For someone that's never heard of you before, never, never seen you before, do you have a message for someone like this? Well, the only message I can give um, to the constituents back home is that we have 140 days to do what we can do here in Austin, and that's by our Constitution. 
The Constitution of the state of Texas provides that the legislature will meet for 140 days every other year. We give our heart and soul into this. Um, we really do. We're away from our families. We have to leave our families for 140 days. It's very difficult, takes a toll, but we're doing it uh, because we believe in Texas and we believe in the Rio Grande Valley. We believe in our districts. And I think that's what's so, so important. And um, I'm very, very proud of being able to represent um, the state of Texas, the Rio Grande Valley, and especially District 41.